Hi, I'm TK Divine. Good to see you. And this is Divine Diaries, travelographer edition. Random and unplanned episodes where my intentional lifestyle brings me to odd corners of the globe and brings you along for the ride. Join me for life hack tips and to learn what things to do and not to do as we explore the world's lesser known attractions. I am TK Divine, and this is Divine Diaries, travelographer edition. But I can take it with me. Welcome to the Big Easy, the French Quarter, New Orleans, Louisiana. Home to street jazz, street cars, and street performers of all varieties. Many of whom are this season in the Christmas spirit, expressing their sense of giving and joy and... Wait, what? Oh, jeez. New Orleans isn't just about the strange and profane. All you hoodats gotta get hungry sometime. It's also got some of the best food in America. Gumbo, etouffee, shrimp and grits, southern and creole, even a decapitated head of Medusa on a gargoyle perched on the side of a random building in downtown. And maybe even a random labyrinth in Audubon Park. And a crown jewel of the French Quarter, Miss Rao Antiques, where a ten of visitors can find a secret lair where some of the world's greatest art is displayed. You just got nowhere to look. Fortunately, you're with Minimalist, a connoisseur of other people's collectibles and unexpected spaces. Here are some of the most ornate, classic, and valuable pieces you'll find anywhere, including greats of impressionist artists of all time. Hidden in the secret room, and perhaps my favorite piece, Weirdo in Mirror. Voodoo practitioner Marie Laveau is said to haunt from her grave at the St. Louis Cemetery No. 1, but she can only get in with a tour, or you can sneak in over a sidewall for a peek at the empty pyramid tomb of a legend who has yet to die and may live forever. I'm talking, of course, about Nicolas Cage. Is it worth risking your life, defying convention, to see the tomb of a living legend, arguably the worst actor of all time, to pay homage to him? Nicholas Cage. You may not be here yet, Nick, but you're dead to me. There's also this really neat French market, where you can get some beads so people of all genders can show you their chest. But after all that breaking and entering, a man can get pretty tired. Time to take a break from tiny living for a night or two and treat myself to accommodations in the heart of the quarter. Complete with a balcony far enough away from the pool so Bourbon Street's finest don't attempt their best Greg Louganis impression. Yeah, I could make it. No stay in the Big Easy would be complete without a visit to Frenchman Street to get wildly drunk and to listen to some jazz. Wash down those frosty beignets and sweet pralines with a purple haze and a shot of gin. There's seven. It's only Monday. Or is it, or is it Tuesday? Yeah, I can't remember. Bartender, another round. Happy holidays, you filthy animals. Celebrate uh, responsibly, if, if you can. If not, that's, that's fine too. 